Welcome to Unlocking the Word. I'm Candy McKee. I'm very honored that you are here listening to this podcast. It is my desire that this podcast would become a tool in your life to help you learn and grow in your devotional time with the Lord. Before we begin our reading, there's just a few things I want to go over. Remember, this is supposed to be a devotional time, which means that we're not doing a very in-depth biblical study, and we're not going to be looking up the meanings to Greek and Hebrew words. There's always time and a place for that. It's just not going to be what we're doing here in this podcast. This podcast is only supposed to be a tool to help teach you and guide you in how to have a devotional time with the Lord, preferably on a daily basis. There's a couple things that you're going to need as we go through these devotionals. The first and the obvious is is you're going to need a Bible. Some people ask me what Bible version is the best to read. My answer for that is for devotional time, the version that you can pick up, read, and understand is the best version for you. I prefer, when I do my devotionals, the New Living Translation. So I'll be reading that as we do these devotions. But honestly, any version that you like and enjoy, that's the version you should use. You're also going to need a journal and something to write with. Because as we go through these devotions, I'm going to be asking you some questions, and you're going to want to write the answers down. Not only that, sometimes the Lord's going to speak to you directly, and you need to write that down because you don't want to forget something that the Lord has shown you. Throughout this devotional, after I've asked you some questions, I will stop speaking in order to allow you some time to write down the answers to those questions. If at any point you feel like you need to press pause to finish your train of thought, please do so, and then rejoin us when you are ready. Now let's turn to the Word of God for our devotional time. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for this opportunity to be able to read your word. Lord, as we read your scriptures, will you illuminate it and will you speak to our hearts? Show us what you want to show us and speak to us what you want to speak to us. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Today's scripture reading is Mark chapter 1, verses 1 through 11. This is the good news about Jesus the Messiah, the Son of God. It began just as the prophet Isaiah had written. Look, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, and he will prepare your way. He is a voice shouting in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord's coming. Clear the road from him. This messenger was John the Baptist. He was in the wilderness and preached that people should be baptized to show that they had repented of their sins and turned to God to be forgiven. All of Judea, including all the people of Jerusalem, went out to see and hear John. And when they had confessed their sins... He baptized them in the Jordan River. His clothes were woven from coarse camel hair, and he wore a leather belt around his waist. For food he ate locust and wild honey. John announced, Someone is coming soon who is greater than I am, so much greater that I am not even worthy to stoop down like a slave and untie the straps of his sandals. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. One day Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee, and John baptized him in the river Jordan. As Jesus came up out of the water, he saw the heavens splitting apart, and the Holy Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice from heaven said, You are my dearly loved Son. You bring me great joy. Take a look again at the verses. Was there any specific verse that stood out to you more than the others? For me, it was verse... 7, where it says, John announced, Someone is coming soon who is greater than I am, so much greater that I'm not even worthy to stoop down like a slave and untie the straps of his sandals. This will be the scripture verse that I'm going to write down in my journal. So how about you? Was there a verse that stood out to you more than the others? Write that down in your journal. Before we can do anything else, we need to take a look and see what is going on in these scriptures. 
Because the one thing you don't want to do is take the Word of God out of context. Context is so important, so we can make sure that we are interpreting the Word of God correctly. Because sometimes we can take a scripture and make it mean something that it does not mean. And we don't want to do that. We want to hear the Word of God for what the Word of God is. At this point in your journal, let's make some observations. For instance, who? Who wrote the book? Well, it was John Mark, who was a follower of Christ and a disciple of Peter. He wrote the book. But it also talks about John the Baptist. So he's another who. Is there any other people or characters that were mentioned at this portion in the Bible? The next question you want to ask yourself is what? What is being said? What is taking place? The next question you want to ask is why? Why is this being said? Why is certain events taking place? Where? Where is this being taken place? It was mentioned that it was taking place in the Jordan River. And how? How is this taking place? Answer those questions in your journal. It's also helpful to note if there's been any words that have been repeated over and over again. For instance, baptize. Baptize has been repeated over and over and over again. That's a key word, which means it's something you need to pay attention to. Is there any other words that you notice and that you see that has been repeated over and over again? If so, write it down. Also look to see if there's any commands or instructions, warnings, or even just some principles that God wants us to learn from. By now you should be able to start seeing that there's some kind of an overall message in this passage that God has for you. Now we're going to look at how we're going to be able to apply this personally. Like, how does this affect me? Or is there any instructions that God has for me that applies today? Is there any encouragement that he has for me? Is there any correction? These are all the things that need to be written down in our journal as we see them. I'm going to share with you what spoke to me as I read this scripture. And for you, it may be something different. And that's quite okay. Because the Lord will speak to us differently based upon the places we are in our lives. As I had mentioned, Mark verse, uh, chapter 1, verse 7 is what spoke to me the most. And some of the things that I had observed was that John the Baptist was fulfilling a prophecy, a prophecy that was spoken in Malachi 3.1 and Isaiah 4.30, that there will be a voice in the wilderness. John was bringing people to repentance from their sins and to turn back to God. John said that the Messiah was coming and that he would be greater than himself. It was John's job to bring the people back to God and to prepare themselves for the Messiah. Here are the questions that I'm having to ask for myself to apply this scripture. Because Jesus was going to be so much greater than John. And John was a great man, and he did a lot of good things for the Lord. But the questions that I had asked for myself was, Am I preparing myself? Am I making my heart ready for Jesus to return? Have I removed sin from my life? The Lord was also showing me that I am to be a messenger as well. Maybe not on the scale of John the Baptist, but a messenger nonetheless. To be able to reach people and to be able to help them to get ready for Jesus' return. But more importantly, to be able to help them to have a personal relationship with God and Jesus. But before I can do that, I have to make sure that I have turned from sin and that I am in a position to help others. And that's what I've received out of the scriptures that I've read today. What is the Lord speaking to you? Is it something similar? Or is it something completely different? And if it's completely different, that's quite all right. But what is God speaking to you? Now take a moment when you are complete. 
and pray. Write a prayer in your journal. Pray your heart. Pray what he showed you. For instance, I would write for myself that, Lord, I pray that you prepare my heart and my life to accomplish your will. I repent from those sins that would have hindered my relationship with you. Prepare me to be a voice like John the Baptist, to bring the people back to you. Use me for your glory. Let my life make a difference in others so that they can experience you and they can experience your love, your grace, your mercy, and your goodness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me and listening into this podcast. I hope it was a helpful and a beneficial to you as you continue to work towards and developing a relationship with the Lord. May you be blessed and join me next time as we continue on with our study in Mark.